again, Robert Rotzler coming at you from the Optimized Tom Foolery Studios. I, um, I've been putting this song off for a while because I think everybody covers it at one point or another. And I figured this is probably my turn to cover it. You can find music for this song out there, but it remains one of the most <sighs> cliche and one of the most requested and one of the most probably... Uh, what's the word I want? There's a word here. Um, not wanted. In fact, what's the opposite of that? Most dreaded song that you can acoustically perform. And that is Kansas's Dust in the Wind. Now, this is a song that just about every campfire will include at some point or another. So you might as well have this, this arrow in your quill. The song is actually fairly simple. You need a guitarist. I'm sorry, but you need a guitarist. And once you have one, a guitarist installed, this will be your part. You will start on first finger on the D string E. We want that note perfect because if you play it right, the E string rings just a bit. So it's a lovely note for us to start on. And now we start our first conundrum. It's not really a big conundrum. This song is actually a duet. It's a duet between a violin and a viola. At least it was in the studio. He performs it solo on stage, and I think the only way to perform it on stage is as such. The violin part starts. The response from the violin is. So let's take those two bits apart. Starts first finger D string. We're going to go down to the G string. D, C, B, C, D. And then we're going to continue this line, third finger G on the D string. Up the C major scale to D. Third finger down goes back to this G string on the C. C, B, A, B, C. We're going to go now, second finger F on the D string. F, G, A, B, C, B, A. We're going to go back up to that C real quick. Those notes are B, C, B, A, G, A, G, Same figure. Ending on that A. Now this A is where we take a different turn. It's a glorious lick right there. So what we're doing is B, C, B, A. Right up the scale to the second finger on the E string G. Now we begin a lovely series of, uh, of falls. Don't be afraid to go to the open string on the termination of that line, for example. He does that. I think it helps him get in tune with the rest of the band. And if you're with a solo guitarist, it's going to be a comfortable spot for him, too. So again, that lick from the G up here, we're going to go up to the A, and then we're going to do a fall down right back to the A string. Couldn't be easier. It's all in the key of C major right here, or A minor if you'd rather. And it continues back up. back to that beautiful G. This line's a little different. A, B, C, back to the A. That figure goes up to an E, drops back down to the C. And 
and then one more descent back down to the A. Now, quite often the violin will quit right there, but there's actually a continuum part he does. What he does, if you're helping your guitarist out, E, D, and then, if you can hit this chord, C with the third finger on the G string, and E, first finger on the D string. So that's going to sound... From there we go first finger G string with an open D to open strings and then first finger on both strings. First finger A on the G string and E on the D string simultaneously. So it'll come out like this. Actually hold that to the end. Fade out, you're a hero. Now then, we're going to show that from up above so you can see just what the hell all that was about. Here we go. So there you have it, Dust in the Wind by the band Kansas. Again, find yourself a guitarist, ply him with whatever alcohol you need, and he'll play it. Everyone does. Just short of Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven, it's a lick just about every guitarist knows. So, until next time, until I can think of another song to bring out to you, this is Robert Rotzler, and I'll talk to you again soon. Many thanks to Paul and Michelle here at Optimized Tomfoolery. Until next time.